Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going over my favorite small micro HT, the VX1R. On the side here we have the FT1XD and the VX7R for size comparison. This radio was made back in the early 2000s, and I believe the late 90s if I'm not mistaken. It's a dual band radio. It receives on 2 meter and 70 centimeter ham bands, and it also has a reception range of 0 0.5 megahertz to 999 megahertz minus the cellular band. The radio comes with usually a smaller belt clip. This is an aftermarket one that an eBay seller put on their radio when I bought it from them and it does come with an included lanyard. Mine didn't so I made my own. The antenna is an aftermarket one as well so this radio does have a smaller antenna. It's a dual band antenna and it works pretty decently in reception depending on where you are. On the top here you can see the microphone earphone port and then on the side you have the DC input port. The reason why I like this radio is that I can power it via the port using a USB battery bank such as this one and a small conversion cable from USB to DC. You can find this cable on eBay for about $1.25. We'll turn on our power bank here and we'll plug it into the radio. When the radio comes on, you'll see a voltage meter on it. 4.5 volts approximately. What that means is that this radio is now officially running off that battery bank instead of the internal battery. You can check it in the menu setting here under BAT. 4.8, 4.6 to 4.8 volts floating wise, up to five volts. So the radio is operating off the direct current of the USB battery bank. Let's turn off the radio. We'll unplug the radio and run it off the battery now. 3.9 volts. We'll check it in the menu again. 3.9 volts. It's now running on the batteries. To get out of the menu, push band. The buttons are fairly simple. You have up and down for the megahertz, volume, the function key, which can write stuff, the memory VFO button here, and the ARS triggering for an older system of uh, sending out code to other radios that had this kind of system in the radio, the ARTS system. And you have the volume uh, changing knob on top, and then you have a power button on the side, the open squelch, and the push to talk. To change your bands, you would push band button, and it cycles through bands on the radio. That's how you check all the frequencies on the radio. You can only, uh, you can only monitor one band at a time on this radio which is the unfortunate thing about it, but I think it's a great radio still regardless. We have FM here. We'll try a little sound test. This is a radio station over here locally. So, as you can see, the antenna is not very good at receiving and the station is still coming in pretty weak over here. But it works pretty well for small radio in your small EDC kit if you're looking for a very tiny radio that can do a lot on the receiving end and can be powered by a USB power source. They have other radios out in the market that do this too, the VX2R and the VX3R also, the next one's up from this, but you cannot run them off of this cable necessarily all the time. There's also a Balfang that's sort of a copy of the VX3R. Um, they're all micro HD categories. I'd recommend the VX1R even though it only transmits at 500 milliwatts on the full battery here or one watt on a power source of six volts. Uh, with the USB power device, I think it's going to be transmitting a little bit above 500 milliwatts anyway, but it doesn't matter if you're on the hilltop or you're on the summit of a mountain, you'll still get out pretty far with this radio. I still recommend it if you're looking for a small monitoring or emergency transmission type of radio, as you can cover the FM and the broadcast portions of radio stations. That is the VX1R in a nutshell.